Hi everyone, welcome back to Jedi Dragoon Makes. I'm your host Jennifer, I go by Jedi Dragoon Online, and thank you for coming back and watching my show. Um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And sorry about yesterday, I fell asleep. <laughs> I got tired, I was going to film yesterday a yarn haul video and I I was exhausted. I fell asleep and yeah, it wasn't a good day. <laughs> so I'm back today. I have my stuff. You do not get in that box. <sighs> okay, guys, this is Ernie. He just decided he was wanting to get in my box of yarn. Ernie, say hi to the people. Okay. No, no, you're not getting... <sighs> Here, go up here on the back of the couch. It's covered in yarn. Don't give me that look. Anyway, thanks for watching this mess of a podcast. <laughs> All right, let's get to yarn haul and <laughs> that and cake hats. No. <laughs> okay, so this is yarn I've bought at Hobby Lobby and Walmart. I went to Joanne Fabrics also, but the yarn was the yarn I got was the stuff I dyed. So you've already seen that. And this is just other stuff I picked up. So the first one is you've seen a hat knit out of this. This is Premier Yarn, and it's in the color. This is Premier Yarn Puzzle in the color Hangman. So it's this purple, blue, and teal color. That's real pretty. So I got me a skein of this at Walmart. I was going to make a pocket shawl. Realized there was not enough for a pocket shawl, so I've been making hats and stuff. I think I have plenty to make more hats. <laughs> anyway, so I got a skein of that. I loved it. It's nice, soft, squishy yarn. It's 100% acrylic also. So. And then the, I liked it so much, I decided I'd get another one. So this is... Backgammon. And this is like dark navy, lighter blue, maroon, and like a mixture of the dark blue and maroon. And yeah, the I love these colors. And this is probably going to be a hat or a virus shawl, just depending on what I want to do with it. I was thinking hat, but the more I look at it, the more I want to make a virus shawl out of it because I think it'd be soft and squishy and look good. And then... Walmart got in these. I don't know if they're a new thing. I don't know if they're an old thing. Okay, they're new within the last three months or so. Because that's about how long I've been gone from Walmart. I quit in August. Um, August 1st was my first day of being a stay-at-home mom. So, they got in these Super Saver color blocks. And I think they're designing it for crochet because that's a crochet scarf. And I, I knit up, you saw the one, the Super Saver color block and the color party time. And I wanted to get some more and try them like crocheting a divine hat or a virus shawl with them because I thought they'd look really good. Probably virus shawl, if we're honest, because I love doing that. So this is Iris Bouquet. And it's just these purples I like. Well, pale pink. A little bit darker purple, purple. Yeah, there's like three or four different colors in there. So we'll crochet this up into a virus shawl and see how this looks. So I picked up one of those. I think I'll still cover stuff up. Um, and then I got another one of the Super Saver Color Blocks Party Time. And I've shown you guys this. Sorry, there's a light right up there. So it's probably blowing it out a little. But yeah, I got another one of these. I'm going to make it into a virus shawl. Because I want to see how that looks up. I think it would look really neat um, and vibrant. And then, of course, I got me another one of my favorites. It, they now have the Super Saver Jumbo Stripes. So they had my favorite, which is Polo Stripe. And I want to make a virus shawl and put it in the shop. So I'm happy they made bigger ones of these. Because I love this color. It's one of my favorites. I really like it. This is a... These are... Okay, 100% acrylic, but that's not telling me what I want. They're 10 ounces, and they are 482 yards. Or if, 
I doubt I have very many people from the UK or Canada, but 440 meters. So, yeah, this is one of my favorite colors. All right. And, oh, and I got another one in here. And I got, this is another Jumbo Stripes. I haven't seen this color before in this Red Heart Stripes, and it's a lot softer than the other ones. I, this one is, where's this one made? Mm. Made in USA of imported fibers. Don't know what that means. The color is Sutherland Stripe. And it's like these greens, light green, dark green, chartreuse. Really neat colors. I like this. This will be a good um, shawl. I, this, is, this is going to be a shawl. And I might ask my friend, she wanted me to make her grandma a shawl in green. Because her grandma's favorite color is green. So I might try and make her one in this. Because I think it will look really good. Oh, there's even a little bit. This is blue and light blue here. So, yeah. Alright, there's those. And then I also was at Walmart. I've been eyeballing these and I've been wanting to get them and try them. So, I picked up two cakes of this Mandala Ombre in the color Balance. And it's like light lavender, blue, green, purple, light green. And... So, why? Why does my phone go off while I'm doing this? Anyway, so I thought this would make really neat fiber shawl or um, my one big cake shawl and just use like two cakes for it maybe for once, see how it goes. But anyway, and these are, how many yards are these? These are 5.3 ounces and 344 yards. They pack a lot of yardage into these little tiny cakes. So, that's these two. And then I was at Hobby Lobby and I was laying myself by yarn and I'm a sucker for sock yarn. I have a tote filled with sock yarn <laughs> and I need to knit more socks, but it doesn't always happen. So I got, are these the same? No. Okay. I thought I got two of the same. They look very similar. They look really similar. Oh well. Anyway, so I found this Premier yarn. I don't. I haven't really worked with Premier yarn much. Uh, it's not something that's been on my radar. I've been watching Sim and Stitches and Ross talk about Premier yarn, so I figured I'd get some and try it. So I picked up this Premier yarn cotton collage. I'm sorry about the light. Anyway, so cotton collage, and this is the color. Uh, this one is Party Multi, and this has 246 yards, and it is 46% cotton, 33% superwash fine merino wool, 12% polyamide, and 9% PBT. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, the polyamide I know is for stretchiness, because it's, it's stretchy like the Premier Wool Free stuff, so it'll be interesting. I'm going to just make rosé rollers out of these. That's why I got a single skein of each because the Rosé Rollers pattern, I know I can use like a 50 gram um, ball of yarn and get one pair of socks out of them. So that's what this is going to be. And then I also picked up Circus Multi. It's a, I still don't know. Okay, this one's a little lighter than this one, but they're still very similar in color. So I'm going to work with these, see how they knit up into socks. It might take me a little bit. <laughs> I got a lot of projects I'm trying to get done. I'm trying to catch up on everything so I can knit the fun stuff. And I keep finding projects I've shoved places. And casting on other projects. <laughs> okay, and while I was out, I picked me up some Premier Bloom Chunky. And this is the color Cactus Bloom. Uh, let me turn you slightly. At least I cleaned up a little bit this morning. Hold on a minute. Okay, yeah, that helped. <laughs> okay. So, as you can see, it's this uh, 
blue green then this chartreuse this is a true chartreuse and then it has the white and pink and green so it's supposed to knit up like this so i wanted to get this and try it because everybody was talking about it. hold on one sec there everybody was talking about it so it's really soft it's 100 percent acrylic it's 109 yards and it's a 3.5 ounce and it's a chunky weight so I've already started knitting with it, and I'm liking it. I really do like it a lot. I haven't crocheted with it. Um, I probably won't crochet with it because I don't feel like there's enough yardage for crochet. But, or I might do a like a cowl or something. But I kind of really like how it's knitting up in a hat. So, these are size 11 needles. This is the Ross hat pattern. Yada, yada, yada. This is the color... I think it's colored wildflower. I'm not sure because I took the ball band off and misplaced it. But it starts out this dark purple, then light purple, darker, this tea, light blue, and then the flower motif. So that's knitting up pretty good. I really enjoy it. It's really soft. It's easy to work with. It hasn't split on me or anything. So, so far so good. Um, yeah, I'd recommend it. I got more on the way. <laughs> So, yes, I do like it. I got more coming. Um, so, I have that. I was going to say something. I forget what I was going to say. But, and then, if you remember my weird yarn that didn't, I did not like it knit. I did not like it knit at all. I hated working with it knit. And then I loved working with a crocheted and a crocheted kid's hat and scarf set. So I picked up another skein. This is Yarn B Fireplace Comfort. And this is the color. Uh, where's the color? The color should be on here. I got one without the color. Oh, there it is. Splash of color. The color is Splash of color. And it's like this blue gray with this, uh, dark red, orange, and then some dark like charcoal stripes. And I'm going to crochet this up into a divine hat because I think it'd make a really cool divine hat the way it would crochet. So we're going to try that, see how it works. And it's that like roving style yarn. And it is 70% acrylic, 30% wool, worsted weight yarn. And this has did you tell me how many? Oh, there it is. Turn 29 yards. So, we're going to make a divine hat out of this. See how it turns out. Uh, I got to finish my other hat first. <laughs> I like having a hat on the needle or hook at all times because they're easy for me to work on. And, like, my hats that I knit, I just like having them on if I want something where I don't have to think too much. And I can get them done quickly. And then also while I was out, I think this is Crafters, no, this is Peaches and Cream. I got this from Walmart. This is Peaches and Cream uh, Stripe. It's just a cotton. I think it's like green stripe. It's just some cotton dishcloth yarn. It's like aquamarine, light blue, white, chartreuse. So I got that. Yes, I already took the ball band off <laughs> and lost it. And then I got some of this Crafter Secret cotton, and this is uh, Love Christmas. And this is just red, green, white Christmas colors. I have a dishcloth and yarn like this, and I just figured I'd get it and add to the cotton yarn stash that I need to get through. So that is my yarn haul. Um, that's it. Um, I got... A text message this morning. My premier yarn order is on its way. It's coming from North Carolina. So we'll see how quick it gets here. Um, but yeah, that's all I got. Um, I'll talk to you guys next week. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, I hope you enjoy me breaking up these videos. Because it's a lot easier on me. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. Um, thank you for watching me. I really do appreciate it. I like the comments and people just talking to me or whatever. Um, 
And that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.